Hi, I'm Naresh Bhaktani with Juvlon. In my earlier video, I explained to you what is A-B testing. In this session, I'm going to cover how to do A-B testing for email. Now, A-B testing is superbly suited for email marketing. Why? Uh, because your focus group for testing is readily available. And I'll elaborate that in a bit. First, let me tell you about the four types of A-B testing that you can perform on your email. There's uh, subject line testing, sender name testing, content testing, and time-based testing. Now, if you if you hear all these terms, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I will, in, I, I will expand on the nuances of each term in a bit. Even before we get started on any of these tests, you need to be prepared with your list and your testing parameters. For example, do you want to deal with two versions or three versions of your email for testing? Some software like Juvlon enable you to have a version A, B and a C to conduct your A-B test. Now, logically speaking, we recommend that you maintain one difference between each version so that you know exactly which change really worked for you. Next, decide how much of your existing list you want to use for your A-B test. This is your focus group. For example, you can use 30% of your list of say 10,000 subscribers. So now your focus group is 3,000 subscribers. If you have two versions of your email, version A and version B will be sent to 1,500 subscribers each. Before sending your 3,000 emails to your focus group, you need to decide how to judge which version is performing better. That's what we call a willing, winning criteria. A winning criteria like open rate and click rate can decide which version is performing better in real time. You can set your testing time frame as say 24 hours. This means that 24 hours after sending the two versions of your email to your focus group of 3000, a software like Juvlon can judge which version is doing better based on the winning criteria you've defined and select a winning version and send it to the rest of your list of 7000 automatically. Now that you've prepped your lists and testing parameters, you can go about creating the two or three versions of your email. If you've chosen to, to test by subject line or send a name, it's logical that open rate should be your winning criteria. But if you've chosen content as your testing type, um, it's logical that click rate should be used as a parameter to judge the performance of the versions. If you're A-B testing by time, there's a slightly different approach we take. There's only one version of the email, but there can be two or three different time instances to send that email. You can choose to send your email at different times of the day but once sent that time that day and time has gone time has moved on and hence we don't have a win criteria for for testing by time you can select the time interval to wait between each sending and we distribute your sending your entire sending to the list equally with time based ab testing you get to learn which day and time suits your mailing activity the best. Finally, analytics is a key part of your A-B test. It shows you which version was sent to how many people and how well did each version perform. You can also see which version was deemed as the winner and how did the winner actually perform when it was sent to the remaining list. In essence, A-B testing for email helps you improve your campaign performance even while it's being sent, in real time almost. Now, which other tool can accomplish such a feat on the fly? So, next time, why don't you try A-B testing your campaign? Try it with Jublon, it's for free. Thanks.